Chichigo-san is a Japanese festival celebrated to mark the growth of children as they turn three, five, and seven years old. Now, part of the celebration is to dress in traditional kimono for the blessing. And Jean Sakihara is here with us this morning to show us the art of kimono dressing. And Sakihara-sensei teaches the only kimono culture class across all of the nation's high schools. Remarkable. So good morning to you and good morning to all of your students and your helpers this morning. Now tell me, um, why is kimono dressing such an important part of Shichigo-san? Why is kimono dressing so important? Uh, okay, what is the important part is uh, uh, this is the culture. That's why the some place they should have the, to show the, and to give information, the correct thing, and as they do in Japan. So the, that's why I started as an educational program. So in, in, in Japan, they would dress in traditional kimono and go to the temples for blessings. Uh, yeah. um, here, yeah. they, you, it, same thing. Okay, right? that, as a tradition, uh, the children are three years old and five years old and seven years old. Seven and three are girls, and five years old are boys, uh, generally today in Japan. Mm -hmm. Uh, on that, uh, that is on, uh, actually in the November 15th. Mm -hmm. So they take the children nearby shrines to have a uh, uh, blessing and thanks you know, for good health and a successful uh, life. And it's not as easy as it mm -hmm. seems. These mm -hmm. students that you have, um, it, it takes a, a while to learn the correct way to, yes. to wear yes. a kimono. Yes. And to That's why, unfortunately, you have now. Uh, as a great course, elective of course, and then the student stay in two or three years, not only one year. One year just know about, but they need to know, know what's wrong and what's correct. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, they stay in the class two years or three years. That's why they know all about that. Uh, and how, how, does it make you, how does it make you feel to see a younger generation appreciating the art of kimono and wanting to learn mm -hmm. the art? How does it make you feel? Oh, that is uh, wonderful, you know, that is wonderful. They are very interested. And even now that the, my students are making yukata, mm -hmm. of course, on a sewing machine. And uh, first I said, it, you have to be patient. It takes a long time. How about, yes, we do. It takes uh, maybe uh, 40 minutes, you know, the class period. So maybe uh, half a year, and uh, one year, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very long time. You need uh, patience. Mm -hmm. They still say yes. <laughs> so they are making a yukata now. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, it is yes, beautiful, wonderful. and it yes. is, certainly is an art. Uh -huh. And uh, the Shichigo-san festival is actually happening today at Shirokiya. It's from 1 to 4 at the Shirokiya Alamona Center. And also next week on uh, November 16th, Saturday the 16th, you're hosting, hosting a kimono dressing program for Shichigo-san as well at the UH uh, UH school, uh, yes, lab was, school, yes. correct? Okay, mm -hmm. so thank you so much. Thank you for coming in this morning. Beautiful work and, and lovely, very lovely. All right, well, thank you for Today watching KIT Performance News. Also. Yeah. Oh, yeah, turn Not around, show the OB. Very, very nice. <laughs> to view this interview again, you can just head to the uh, As Seen On section of KITV.com. We'll be right back.